Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Timu haul for you today. Actually, I have two. This is part one. I will have part two up shortly. Um, so yeah, I did another Timu haul and it's all the stuff I wanna share with you. For transparency, this was stuff that was sent to me, but the opinions are all my own. So we'll get started with the clothes. I ordered this tank top because, well, duh. Now I got this in, I think, a 3X and it is a little snug. So if you wanted something bigger, I would order up a size, but it is completely adorable. Um, I'm gonna wear it under like a flannel shirt. I do wear an 1820 shirt for transparency, again. And I'm having iced coffee because I love it. I picked up this romper. It's the one we've all seen. I just like the color. It does have the adjustable straps and this is more like cotton. I think it's polyester, but it feels more like cotton as does that other one. Sometimes we're getting some weird fabrics, but this is good. It does have pockets and a very wide leg, which I love. I actually am gonna give this to Sarah because I know she'll love it too. And I do love the adjustable straps. But doesn't smell funny and it feels really soft. I like that a lot. And I like that. And then the other clothing thing I got, I'm super excited for. I've always wanted one of these hats, but they've been so expensive. It is, if you see the Tour de France, the Tour de France, or bicycle, professional bicyclers, they wear these hats, especially in Europe. I love it. I think I can wear it under my helmet too. I wouldn't, but I can. But it also says I want to ride my bicycle. I'm sorry. When there is a queen reference, you have to have it. These are really nice. They are um, moisture wicking hats. You can put them on. They also obviously keep the sun off of your head, um, but they can be worn, like I said, under helmets. Keep your hair under control. And I want one, so I bought it. Um, I picked up this jewelry box. Mm, Quality is okay. If you can see some of the things, but if you're on a floss tube or in the cross stitching community. People are buying these and then taking them apart and making like a little needle box. So these come out and they can be put in any direction. They've been taking this out. Um, I couldn't find one without this, so I can remove this if I want. And then putting like needle minders and all your accessories up in here. So this can be cut out. If you don't want to and you want to use it for a jewelry box, it holds earrings in here so you put your like stud earrings in here and then obviously you can make these as large or small to separate and then this just comes out if you don't want to take it apart to decorate then that is for rings and then it has a little snap i just love the vintage vibe of it um you know like little navy blue and white i liked that uh, we'll see if I get to it. I'm so busy. Who knows? I always have grand plans, but we'll see what happens. Um, I bought this little knitting machine, and it makes what's called an I-cord for decorations. You can make, like, buttons with it. You can make decorations. I'm thinking I'm going to try to do it with embroidery floss and make um, cording to go around my finishes. So I picked this up. I have to learn how to use it. But it is a, oh, it's embellished knit, is what it's called. So we're gonna try it. We'll see when I get there. Um, oh, I got a crafting kit. Timo has been stepping up their game lately. This is a macrame kit. I don't know if it shows me the finished product, but we're making macrame, yeah, here. We're making a uh, macrame Christmas trees, right? And it comes with the, and it's nice quality, macrame cotton. 
And then all the bits and baubles that you need to make it. These could be a Christmas ornament, could even be a keychain if you want, although I think they're gonna be kind of big. But this is enough to make three different ones. And I think they are different only because some of them, oh, they're, they're the same, you add the beads in. But it gives you the step-by-step step by step instructions. So I may do this or I may gift it to somebody who would like to learn to do macrame. But I thought that was a fun find on the Timu. And it comes nicely packaged, so that may be a gift. Speaking of nicely packaged, I got a purse. I have thoughts. It does come in a dust bag. The purse itself, I think, is really nice. It feels like leather. I mean, I don't think it is. It feels like leather. It has lots of compartments in it which I like this uh, magnetic snaps I think is really cute the strap on the other hand I'm not a hundred percent sure about we'll try it out um I like a I like a crossbody purse so we're gonna try real quick here and I'm stretching it out as long as it will go to see if it will be a, enough of a crossbody that I prefer so we'll start with that test um, I do like that these are on a swivel because that annoys me. So let's see. I mean, it's okay. It's not quite as long as I would like, but it's not terribly short either. I like it a little longer, but yeah. And I love this color. I think it is a great, um, I don't like that that hangs out. It's fine. It is a fine purse to use, especially if I'm using it for just like to match a specific outfit. I'm just weird, I'm sitting down now. I'm just weird about purses, if that makes any sense to anybody. But I like it, I love the color for sure. And I love that it is soft. On the back it even has the little, um, little thing here. Another oddity is it's plastic. I don't know, it's fine. But like I said, it would be fun for just like an evening out. I don't know that I would trust this for long-term use. That is me, right? That's how I roll. I have all this stuff. Now I'm not centered. Let's move you over. Now I am. Okay, I picked these up. This is Intelligent Light. They are motion sensor under the sink, under the cabinet lighting that is also rechargeable. So if you are like an RVer or camper or in your kitchen, you don't have an outlet near um, where you would like some task lighting, we're gonna open her up and see what it looks like. So it has with it, okay, so this is magnetic. That's metal or magnet. Oops, I missed. There we go. It might only be, yes, it's only magnetic in certain spots. So down here, there must be metal on the back. You turn it over. I have not charged it, but it does, ooh, that is bright. And from what I understand, It's motion activated. So I don't know what activates it, but I have to read the directions. You can put it up in a closet and whatever you put it, this sticks to your wall and then that just magnets to your light. Oh, can you imagine camping or in a camper? And then this is your sensor. There are directions with it. But how much was this thing? It was $4.28, guys. Like, that is a good price, especially if you have a dark cabinet that you need to light up. Um, and like I said, it is, let's leave that out. It is rechargeable, which is great. So you can pull it down. It comes with the cable. You can recharge it and put it back up wherever you need to have a light source that you don't have electricity. That's a great deal and a great find. Trying to keep everything clean here. 
we'll see how that all goes. I didn't get a lot in this order because I got a few things that were a little expensive. This not being one of them. Um, I grabbed this. It's a pen. It is supposed to be a record. It looks like an eyeball to me. But it's supposed to look like uh, like a 33 LP record. And I was going to cut the back off and make it a stitch minder. But if you look at it from back here, it looks like an eyeball. Not like a record. But that's okay. It's a nice pen. And it has the built-in back. Here. I keep forgetting it's on this side today. It has a like a regular pen back. Would be super fun if you have a friend who's into the 80s. So I grabbed that. I picked these up, again, for storage and organization. I'm not sure where exactly they're going to go, but they are like a cabinet hook or a drawer hook. So they would go on to I don't think that's a door unless you have a very thin door, which, you know, sometimes we do have thin doors, closet doors and things like that, bifold doors can go on a drawer. And then you have these hooks. They even have like a little rubber on the front to um, hold them. And I was like, well, that's perfect. Especially my kitchen would be great on my um, cabinet in front of my sink or something, or even like right here next to me. Yeah, it fits perfectly on my drawer or like on my work filing cabinet and I can hang my purse from it. It's very sturdy. So whatever you're choosing to hold on this, hang on this towels or whatever, definitely will hold. It's not, it's not going to bend easy. So I thought that was fantastic find for my coffee station because you know how I am with my coffee. Um, I bought these before and I picked up another set. They are just spoons, like regular spoons. And I wasn't sure how they would hold up, but let me tell you, they've been through the dishwasher numerous times. I stir coffee with them every morning. I wash them in the dishwasher. Yeah, they're a little like flexy. I wouldn't go trying to scoop ice cream with them, but for what I use them for, which is my coffee bar, they are perfect. And I like that they're a longer spoon so they can go down into like my travel mugs or my deeper cups or my deeper coffee cups because I don't like getting my fingers in them. And I love that I can use it and then wash it. And I, they have not turned colors. The gold, the gold has not come off. And there are four different patterns. And they can also be used to scoop sugar. Like if you're scooping sweetener or something or powder of any kind. These are perfect. Gonna go right downstairs into the dishwasher. And then onto my coffee bar. I know, right? I think Timu is, is rolling back on the sponsorship videos because I'm not getting as many requests to do them as I did because I think we're all shopping Timu, which is fine with me. Um, oh, and then I grabbed this. This was a little expensive. It is, this was $18.98, but it is solid wood. It is a farmhouse little riser table, which I like. And quite frankly, if I'm not into farmhouse anymore, I can paint this any color I want. But I love it to sit on my coffee table and it just gives a little elevated rip and then I put some plants on it and stuff like that. Um, the, le the wheels, the legs do screw on and off, which is nice if you, let's say you're sitting it on something and you only need two legs because you have it right on something over here or whatever, the legs come off for storage. But that was a fantastic find. And in case you're wondering, it does sit perfectly balanced because that was a concern of mine. Now, lastly, I purchased some things for Sarah, my teacher niece, for back to school, and then one thing for Christmas. Um, this is the, it's not, I mean, I say it's Christmas because, well, it is for Christmas, but it's, like a stocking stuffer or a package topper, which would be fantastic. I'm tying off the ribbon. It's an ornament. Um, so it comes with the gold. 
I've seen these before. Now, I will tell you, I thought it was going to be a little different than what it is. Not mad about it at all, but I thought it would be more of a, um, sh like, actual three-dimensional, and it's not. But it's a heart, and it's a bookshelf, and it is two-sided. And most likely what I will do is put her name on it for Christmas and put it on a package. I mean, it's great quality. I can tell you that right now. And it, if you have a reader in your life, and it was not expensive either. Um, this was a dollar a dollar ninety eight. If you have a teacher or like a reader, she is a huge reader. She will love this. And then she can use it for her tree. Like I might put her name and the year on it or something, and then she can hang it on her tree. So I grabbed that for her. That is not for now. Um, but for now, I got her some back to school things. Um, this came in a four pack, and the four pack was eight ninety eight. But, and they're all the same. The only difference is the color here. So I may keep two for me and give two to her um, for her desk at school. But it's just a nice little to-do list. And I am a list girl. So you just make your list. It's not, it's not like sticky back or anything. You can just take it on the go. But I thought that was not a bad deal. $2 a book for them. So I grabbed a four pack of those. And then when we were at the book fair, the book festival, they had a gentleman there selling earrings, but they were so expensive, like $20 a pair. And we were both like, that's a hard no. Now I have his card, so I may order her some for Christmas. But I did get her some earrings for back to school. And this one says, shh, I'm reading. And it's just a little book with some flowers. She'll love that. Ooh, I hope you can see it. And they're nice. They're nice, lightweight, and these are wood for that. And then there was a second set that I got that is a stack of books. And it's a set of earrings as well, and it says, read all the books. Now, if your person that you're getting for doesn't necessarily want to wear fun earrings like this, you can totally turn this into a charm for a necklace or on a zipper pull um, because the hole is already there. You just change out the hardware. So I grabbed her these two pair of earrings for back to school, which she will love. And then the last thing I got was to put it all in is this little bag and it says, teach, love, inspire, motivate, lead, encourage, listen, connect, include. And I got her this, it's, it is probably a makeup bag, but I'm sure she'll use it for like pens and pencils and stuff. And the zipper works really nicely. And like I was saying, like on this, you wouldn't be able to do it. But if it's a YKK zipper, there's a hole here. And you can, I do it all the time. I put charms on my zippers. So I grabbed that bag for her. And the teacher bag was only $2.58 for this bag. And it's decent quality. I mean, it's not lined or anything, but I don't know. So, and I have some other things for her as well, but I will put those in there. And then she'll get a couple notebooks. And then I have some other teacher things for her. And she will be all set and ready to go back to school. So I hope you enjoyed my Timu haul. I'm going to be filming a second one right now. Actually, this is the second one because this is Timu haul number two. Timu haul number one I haven't filmed yet. I gave you some behind the scenes stuff here, guys. Uh, uh, you just saw my secret sauce. I have been working like a maniac the last couple months and I am tired. <laughs> so we're going to get these videos up and edited for you and I will talk with you later.